Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Store error code that is 0x8400002. Something unexpected happened. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to reset Windows update components. Now for this, copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy till here. And then open notepad and computer so type in notepad open notepad over here paste all the command over here go to file click on save as go to desktop and then name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files click on save now go to desktop over here you can see the wufix file make a right click and run as administrator Make sure that you open this file as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now, if you receive this prompt, type in Y for yes, hit the enter key. Now, first of all, it will stop all the Windows update services and then it will run some scans. Now, there are a couple of scans. So if you go, to the, uh, go through the command over here, you can see there are three, four command uh, scans. So the scan process will take some time. So once the scan is, all the scans are complete, it will restart all the Windows update services. So let the scan complete, all the scan complete, then it will restart all the Windows update services and then it will auto close or you can close it. Once this is done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can open Microsoft Store and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct in computer so the at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on the date and time click on adjust date and time make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on if set time automatically is off turn it on and then click on sync now sync now is important and now go to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here now the next step is to clear store cache using WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will reopen Microsoft store and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset uh, reset store. So Microsoft store. So type in Microsoft store in Windows search box. Make a right click on Microsoft store. Click on app settings. Scroll down. First of all, terminate and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, now you can open Microsoft Store and then check, still not working. Click on Reset, Reset. After the reset, you can open Microsoft Store and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to restart Windows Update, Microsoft Store, Install and Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Now for this typing services in Windows help box and then find Windows Update in the list. Make a double click on Windows Update, set this to automatic. Apply, click on start if I like it, and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, then click on restart. My, now find Microsoft Store install service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if I like it, and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Again, do the same thing, set it to automatic. Apply, click on start. And then click on OK. With this selected, you can make a right click and then click on restart. And then you can check, still not working. The next step is to I run this power cell command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this, type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell, and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This process will take some time. And during this process, you will see some error in red color. Just ignore it, let the process complete. This will install the default Windows app and once this is complete, you will see everything red. And once that is done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. To uninstall Microsoft Store, 
copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell once again in windows search box make a right from windows powershell always run as administrator this is important now click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall store store is gone so even if you type in store in windows search box or microsoft store you won't find store anymore now to install reinstall microsoft store copy this command and on the same window uh, you can paste the command and then hit the enter key this will re reinstall microsoft store now if you type in store you will be able to find store and then you can check still not working the next step is to run this scan now this scan you don't have to run because the very first step you already ran this that the first step had this scan over here so no need to run this scan follow the next step right type in inet cpl.cpl in windows search box and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to advanced tab scroll down over here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked over here then hit apply apply is important and then click on ok and then check you have to relaunch microsoft store after each step try to relaunch microsoft store now the next step is to update windows 11 or windows 10 to the latest version so go to windows update or update and security and then check click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart you can be right and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use option fix problems using windows update now for this open windows settings go to windows update click on advanced option over here then go to recovery option and then over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done then log into the computer and then open microsoft store still not working update windows using media creation tool so for this you can copy this link if you have windows 10 you can go to windows 10 website so for windows 10 user just at the end just type in windows 10 over here and then this will take you to windows 10 uh, media creation tool website and for windows 11 open this link and then go to windows 11 website and in windows 10 also find media creation tool in windows 11 also find media creation tool here you can see media creation tool and then you can run this exe file once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run the exe file uh, you will see accept option hit accept and by default windows 11 will be selected in windows 10 windows 10 will be selected click on next select iso file and then click on next set the location as desktop and then click on save over here this process will take some time let the process complete and then click on finish and then let it close automatically do not manually close it it will close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then over here you can see setup file make a double click on setup file and then click on yes to allow and then click on next and then click on accept and then ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer you can click on install after the installation log into the computer and then open microsoft store and then check now still not working the last step is to reset windows 11. now before you reset create a backup first because you will lose all the data and application which is installed in computer so make sure that you create a backup first to reset the computer uh, you can go to windows update advanced option recovery option here you can see reset this pc option click on reset pc and then first option is keep my files this will remove application and settings but keeps your personal files the second option remove everything removes all your personal files application and settings so you can select the option which you want and then you can go for local reinstall and go for local restore, reinstall and after the reinstall log into the computer like set up your computer you have to start everything from scratch log into the computer and then you can open microsoft store and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error code so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel